Lauren Milroy, Kurdistan 24. Given Iran's influence in Baghdad, which has been strengthened as a result of, in, in some ways, as a result of the war against ISIS and the popular mobilization units that operate, I guess, as Iranian proxies, some of them at least, how do you think that will affect U.S. planning for its presence in Iraq after ISIS is defeated? Would Iranian influence perhaps pre prevent the United States from maintaining a longer-term presence in Iraq, as people have suggested they would like to see? We'd like to feel that. Is that back to me? <laughs> <laughs> you first. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I'm, I'm quite sure that uh, the the Iranian influence with the uh, with the popular mobilization units uh, is a very serious concern uh, for the uh, for the administration as it should be, uh, and it will affect uh, you know decisions about how we want to maintain posture uh, uh, long term uh, in Iraq. I, I know we've had comments from Prime Minister Abadi uh, in the past month. Uh, or so, you know, about uh, you know not wanting to have U.S. presence or at least certain forms of U.S. presence uh, past the uh, the current campaign uh, against ISIS. Uh, you know, from my uh, my own knowledge and uh, and awareness of how these kind of negotiations go on, I you know I would expect some of that is you know kind of early early posturing and and we're going to we're going to be going back and forth on this for for some time as we have in the past and in previous iterations i hope we come up with uh, obviously a better uh, a better arrangement than has been concluded in some previous rounds of this uh in in the past uh but uh you know i i think that you know the u.s you know has an opportunity in iraq uh to you know strengthen uh strengthen the iraqi people uh, to be, frankly, more, uh, you know, more self-determinative uh, because the, the, the Iraqi people themselves do not appreciate all the Iranian influence that they have to deal with. Uh, and I think this is something that, uh, as much as Iran may have played a role in helping to uh, fight ISIS and defend against uh, the initial invasion in 2014, uh, that ultimately the uh, the Iraqi people would like to have, uh, a, you know, you know, frankly, more balance uh, in Iraq, uh, and 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 not have this degree of, of, of Iranian, uh, you know, influence in their security forces, uh, and would like uh, assistance from us and from our Arab partners, uh, and in building up their security forces and building up uh, political influence uh, there. And I think this is a great opportunity for the U.S. Uh, to be able to, uh, you know, to to you know, to show that we, we can be uh, strong, effective partners, uh, and I think addressing the popular mobilization units uh, is precisely where we uh, should be putting a lot of our energy right now, uh, and and I think this because it has a tremendous potential if we're not paying attention uh, to really undermine uh, stability there in Iraq long term, uh, reactivate uh, sectarian uh, tensions and conflict. Uh, and recreate the environment for the next version of ISIS or, or a Sunni insurgency there in Iraq. I'm going to offer an immoderate comment from the moderator. Um, Iraq is more thoroughly integrated into the regional Iranian security system than it has ever been in modern times or as an independent country. There are thousands, if not tens of thousands, of Iraqis fighting in Syria under the command of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps as part of the Axis of Resistance paramilitary organization in the region. Uh, the degree of autonomy that has been granted to the PMUs, including an especially Iranian-controlled, it's not, it's really, we need to get beyond saying Iranian-backed or Iranian proxy, they're Iranian-controlled organizations in Iraq that are not responsive to the Prime Minister. Uh, at an unprecedented level. And some of the leaders of Shia death squads who contributed so much to the sectarian warfare in 2007 are now in prominent ministries uh, within the Iraqi government, which in my view uh, basically dooms the prospect of sectarian uh, uh, stabilization in Iraq as long as that goes on. Um, and so I think that America has been myopically focused on the fight against ISIS to the exclusion of thinking seriously about how to address these problems. And not just the fight against ISIS, but the re recapture of Mosul as if that in itself was going to be 
uh, the thing that ends the threat from ISIS, which is, of course, wrong. Um, and as a result of that, we have largely allowed all of this to develop in an extremely passive way and sort of hoping that it's not going to turn into the sort of problem that uh, I'm pretty sure that it will. Uh, and I, I think this is something that merits quite a lot of uh, attention.